Hi friends, in the previous video of this series, we have seen that how we can use digital pins of Arduino as input and we also made some basic example projects. If you haven't watched that video, you can find its link on the top of the screen and in the description box. So in this video, we are going to learn about loops and we also gonna make some example projects using loops. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. Before learning about loops, we need to know about variables. A variable is used to store data. It has a name, a value and a type. For example, int i equals to 0. In this example, int is the type of the variable, i is the name of variable and 0 is the value of the variable. A variable has to be declared before it's been used. Declaring a variable means defining its name and type and its initial value if it is required. Default initial value of a variable is 0. These are the example of variables with and without initial values. These are the different variable types. Different variable types can store data of different nature and size. Now let's move to the main topic which is loops. A loop is a program structure that repeats a set of commands until a specific condition is met. There are three types of loops we used in Arduino. For loop, while loop and do while loop. Let's see the syntax of for loop. First we write for and in the parentheses the first parameter is initialization and the second parameter is the condition and in the third parameter there is increment or decrement in the value and in the curly braces we write the commands needed to be repeated. Let's make an example circuit and program to better understand for loop. First connect the positive supply rail of the breadboard to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Now connect the negative supply rail of the breadboard to ground pin of the Arduino. Now connect an LED and connect its anode to pin D2 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of LED and its other pin to ground. So we have completed the circuit. Now let's see the first example code. The first command in the setup function is pin mode which is setting the pin D2 of Arduino as output. The first command in the loop function is 4 and in the parentheses the first parameter is int i equals to 0 then there is a semicolon and in the second parameter there is the condition which is i is less than 5 then there is a semicolon and the third parameter is i plus plus which is an increment command and in the curly braces there are the commands which are going to be repeated for the five time. So the first command in the for loop is digital write which is setting pin D2 of Arduino to high then there is a 250 millisecond delay and after that there is another digital write command which is setting pin D2 of Arduino to low and there is another 250 millisecond delay and after the loop function the first command is digital write which is setting pin D2 to high and there is a 1 second delay. After that there is another digital write command which is setting pin D2 to low and there is another 1 second delay. So this is the first example code. Now let's upload this code to the Arduino and test it. Let's make another example circuit. First connect the positive supply rail of the breadboard to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Now connect the negative supply rail of the breadboard to ground pin of the Arduino. Now connect an LED and connect its anode to pin D2 of Arduino. 
Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of LED and its other pin to ground. Now connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D3 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of LED and its other pin to ground. Now connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D4 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of LED and its other pin to ground. Now connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D5 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of LED and its other pin to ground. Now connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D6 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of LED and its other pin to ground. Now connect another LED and connect its anode to pin D7 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of LED and its other pin to ground. So we have completed the circuit. In the setup function, the first command is for loop and the first parameter is int i equals to 2 and the second parameter is i is less than 8 and the third parameter is i plus plus and in the for loop there is one command which is pin mode and the first parameter of pin mode command is i and its second parameter is output so basically this for loop function is setting from pin d2 to pin d7 as output so in the loop function the first command is also a for loop similar to the setup command and in the for loop function the first command is digital write and the first parameter is i and the second parameter is high and the second command in the for loop is a one second delay and after that there is another digital write command and its first parameter is i and its second parameter is low and the last command in the for loop is another one second delay so basically this command is blinking six leds one by one now let's upload this code to the arduino and test it Now let's see the syntax for while loop. First we write while and in the parentheses we write the condition and in the curly braces we write the command need to be repeated. Let's make an example circuit. First connect positive supply rail of breadboard to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its negative supply rail to ground pin of Arduino. Now connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin D2 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. Now connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin D2 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. Now connect an LED and connect its positive pin to pin D3 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to negative pin of LED and its other pin to ground. Now let's see the example code for while loop. So in the setup function, the first command is pin mode which is setting pin D2 of Arduino as input and the second command is also pin mode which is setting pin D3 of Arduino as output and in the loop function the first command is while and in the parentheses as a parameter there is a command which is reading the status of pin D2 of Arduino and in the curly braces the first command is digital write which is setting pin D3 of Arduino to high and there is a one second delay and there is another digital write command which is setting pin d3 of arduino to low and there is another one second delay now let's upload this code to the arduino and test it 